Well, because this video is sponsored by Bethesda, I'm going to talk to you all about Indiana Jones and the Great Circle, and I've got a lot to show you. But first, Bethesda sent me this package, and I want to see just what's inside with all of you. This has already been opened. Let's investigate further. Holy fortune and glory! You're not going to believe this. That, right here, is fortune and glory. This is one of the custom Indiana Jones and the Great Circle Xbox controllers. <laughs> Well, this is certainly a great way to start playing this game. Now, let me go over some of the game with you and five things you should know before you start playing. Indiana Jones and the Great Circle is now available to download on Xbox and PC. Early access is happening right now for those who get the game before its official release on December 9th. Uncover one of history's greatest mysteries in Indiana Jones and the Great Circle, a first-person single-player adventure game where you become Indiana Jones. Live the adventure as Indy in a thrilling story full of exploration, immersive action, and intriguing puzzles. A globe-charting mystery awaits. This narrative-driven game takes you from the halls of Marshall College to the heart of the Vatican, to the pyramids of Egypt, the sunken temples of Sukkothai, and beyond. Shanghai! And those are Japanese warplanes! Players will experience a mix between linear, narrative-driven gameplay and open-area maps. Lots of whip-cracking action where throughout the game, players combine stealth infiltration and first-person combat to sneak, fight, puzzle their way past the ever-present enemy desperate to be Indy the Ancient Prize. First, the game will take you through a tutorial placing you right at the beginning of one of the greatest cinematic openings ever, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Which brings me to the first thing you should know playing this game. Learn the controller and menu. Here, you'll get a good grasp on how to work the controller, Take this time to learn some of the menu. You can change difficulty at any time and even change your DLC outfit depending on what edition you purchased. I just had to try out the boulder scene in the travel suit. This is it. This is where Forrest all cast in. Get a good feel for your whip and gun here too. A big thing that may be beneficial to others is adjusting the difficulty of the enemy awareness speed. Adjust how quickly the enemies can spot you. Choose between light, moderate, hard, and very hard. If you want a more intense experience, I would try adjusting it to moderate or higher. Number two on my list of things you need to know is explore every inch of the map. I can't stress this enough because those who wander will be rewarded. Yes, you can explore this whole area, but be careful for snakes. <laughs> all right, just a snake, nothing more. You will find hidden artifacts laid all over the maps that you can collect. Right, simple. This is such a point. Don't miss out on these, especially if you're trying to complete the game at 100%. There was a battle here. When you get to Marshall College, search the map to catch all the Easter eggs placed around the college. Like this Temple of the Forbidden Eye map. To small details like the professor's names above the doors mentioned in the Raiders source book released in 1994. That's a deep cut. Exploring every corner of the map will yield rewards like upgrades and disguises to help you move more easily through your objectives throughout the game. And you'll find places like the Knuckle Duster Den in Giza to improve your hand-to-hand -hand combat skills and maybe win a little extra cash. With each opponent you beat, the stronger they get. Number three on my list of things to know is learning your journal. Your journal is your key to keeping track of your progress. Treat it as both a guide to your adventure and a time capsule and narrative history of your feats and choices. Explore side missions by talking with locals and going back into your journal and looking under field work. You can also find smaller objectives under mysteries. Keep in mind, you do not need to fully complete all tasks in an area before moving on to the next, but I do recommend doing as much as you can. It also contains any maps you obtain. Speaking of maps, a great feature is that you can use the map you obtain while walking around and it will point to where exactly you are and where you need to go. Since we are talking about where you need to go, sometimes there's an easier way to handle that mileage so it won't add to the years and brings us to number four on my list. Fast travel. Some areas are very large so use the fast travel signs to your advantage. 
Once you visit the area, it will appear on your map and you can visit these signs to fast travel back and forth if you choose to. It makes it a lot easier navigating back and forth. Trust me. You can find them in different areas of the map. They are spread out throughout all the maps, so be sure to look out for them. The last but most important thing you should know before playing this game are the key items you'll need to progress through it. The first important item you'll need to obtain in the game is the camera, which you can find in the Vatican level by visiting Ernesto. It's really that good, huh? This will become an absolute necessary asset throughout the game. The camera is yours. Using the camera will help you solve puzzles and get you some adventure points. The Sphinx is over there. Pyramid of Queen Mother Kantako is the first. While you're exploring, keep an eye on the top left corner of the screen, and when you see a camera icon pop up, that I means there's a picture opportunity somewhere within that frame. We need that door. Use this to stack up adventure points quickly. You're gonna need them. Gonna be Next, you will need to find the lighter, which will be just as much of an asset as your camera, and will be found in Giza. There's something oddly familiar about that monkey. Good thing I brought a lighter. You'll have to explore dark areas, and without it, it may really be your last crusade. The last item you'll need is the rebreather, and will be found in Sukhothai. This will be key to getting through this area with underwater treasures and surprises. I noticed that there were opportunities to go back to previous areas once you obtain items such as the rebreather to find more mysteries, like this one in Shanghai. Everything you've learned along the way will help you be ready for shootouts. A lot of traversing. Many puzzles ranging from pretty easy to a bit more complicated. You'll even fly planes and see familiar places. Okay, we'll be happy. And beautiful views from heights that will take your breath away all while facing some of your biggest fears. Snakes. In hopes to undermine Voss's plan, while having the adventure of a lifetime. So I leave you here to explore the rest yourself, and if you truly explore, use the upgrades, the disguises, and the tools like your journal and camera, you'll be sure to see exactly what the Great Circle truly is. I hope these tips help you through what might be one of Indy's greatest adventures, and remember to take your time. Also, don't forget, we aren't done just yet as there will be more download content. The Order of the Giants is the next piece to this story that's on the way and if you buy the Collector's Edition, that will be included once it releases. Are you going to be diving into this adventure? Let me know down in the comments. Be sure to visit the link in my bio and I wish you all nothing but fortune and glory on this adventure and I can't wait to see what you think.